Algebra 2, this is Chapter 4, Section 2. This will be the last video in this section of uh, videos on multiplying a matrix by a scalar. I'm going to show you how to do the calculator part. Um, so once you grab your TI-83+, plus or 84+, plus or any other calculator, um, I'm personally going to be working on the 83 plus 80 bit here, um, we need to enter our matrices. So I've got matrix A, which is 7, 3, negative 4, negative 1, and matrix B, which is 9, 6, 3, 10. First thing to do is get the matrices into the computer. So on your calculator, you have a matrix button right here. So in order to get to the matrix, which is the yellow part, you press second and matrix. And you see I already have uh, two matrices put in there. Matrix A, I have a 2 by 2, and matrix B, I have a 2 by 2. To edit, you're going to use the arrow key, and you're going to come over to edit, and then you're going to press enter, and it's going to take me into that matrix. From here, I can actually change the dimensions of my matrix, but I do want a two by two because this has two rows in matrix A and two columns, so it's a two by two. And I have, in fact, put this one already in here, so I just type in, there's my seven, there's my three, there's my negative four, and there's my negative one. Okay, whenever I'm done, I'm just going to go to second quit, so second, and the one right next to it, the mode button above it in yellow is quit, so second quit. And if I go to second matrix and I go to number A, number one for A, it's going to put it matrix A, and whenever I push enter, it's actually going to bring up that matrix just as I have it typed in there. So next thing I want to do is get my matrix B in there, so I'm going to go to second matrix, and I'm going to go over to edit again, and I'm going to come down to matrix B and enter. And this one's not the right matrix. I haven't put this one in yet. It is a two by two, so I'm going to enter on the two, enter on the two. But my first element is not negative one, it's nine, so I'm going to type in the nine, and then press enter. And then I'm going to type in the six, and press enter. And I'm going to type in the three, and press enter, and type in the ten, and press enter. Once it's all in there, I can then quit, so second and quit. If I want to see that matrix to verify it's in there, I can go second matrix, come down to B, and press enter. There's my B, and whenever I press enter, it is in fact the right matrix, the one I want to work with. Now if I want to do this operation, I want to take 4, and I want to multiply it by my matrix A, so I'm going to grab second matrix and the first one, so 4 times A, and then I'm going to subtract, I'm going to take 3 times second matrix, and come down and grab B, and so now I've got 4 times A minus 3 times B, whenever I press enter, I get the same answer that I had before. And that's all there is to it. Just enter them in there and then do the math. So let's show another one. Um, let me go to my second one I have here. And so we want to put in our second matrix. Remember that was from this page here, and now I'm just going to come down here. So this is the same matrices that I just did in my last video. Um, we want to put in our matrices. So again, second matrix. And if you want to edit the matrix, you go over to edit and you're going to press enter. This is a 2 by 2 again, and then I'm just going to put in my elements, so it's a 2, 3. Make sure when you're doing negatives, you push the negative button and not the subtract button, so negative 1 and 0. Okay, it's all in there. I'm going to quit. I'm going to go to second matrix and look at number 1 and make sure my A is the right one, 2, 3, negative 1 and 0. Perfect. Then I'm going to go to second matrix, and I'm going to arrow down to B. Oops, I need to come over to edit first, sorry, edit. To, and then if I don't want to arrow down, I can just press the 2, because it's the second one, and it'll take me right into the second one. Again, my matrix is a 2 by 2, so I'm just going to enter through the 2 by 2. It is a negative 2, Again, make sure you're pressing the negative button. So negative 2, and then a 1, a 0, and a 5. Second quit, and then I can go second matrix, go to the second one, and enter, and there is my second matrix, so they're both in there perfectly. Now if I didn't want to put in that whole part up there, I could just take three times A, so if I take three times second matrix and choose A, so that's going to take three times A, 
And that should be 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, 3 times 0 is 0. Okay, so that's good. And then I could then take um, 2 times second matrix, come down to B, and you can see that that actually works. So it multiplies 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, right, negative 4 right there. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 5 is 10. Right? Or I could put the whole thing in there. So 3 times my matrix A, and then I'm subtracting, um, oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that, 2 times matrix B. So that says the right thing, 2 times A minus, or 3 times A times minus 2 times B. And where I press enter, it does the whole thing, and I get my 10, 7, negative 3, negative 10. Okay? And that's all there is to um, actually using the addition and subtraction of matrices in the calculator.